Well, this is my first time doing this this padyatra, uh, which I think in my country is uh, the U.S. I think it might be considered a little bit unusual to travel uh, without money or bringing any food. Uh, but then again, I've been traveling in this country for many years and. In my experience, um, I, I've found since the first time I traveled in India 17 years ago that many people have treated me with kindness and generosity. And uh, so when Manoji invited me on this, this excursion, I didn't think it was a big deal. And it's, it's not really, I mean, it's just a picnic. yeah, it's just like a picnic. And uh, I found today that so many people opened up to us and they didn't think it was a big deal either. It's just some pilgrims coming to, to their village and so we should, we should feed them, so we should give them a ride. Uh, it was very easy going the whole trip, so very different from when I had come the last time. Uh, the last time I was very consciously going on creating, creating, creating. I will get this food, I will get this place, I will get rest here, I will get to sleep, you know, whatever, comfortably and safely. But this time I was in complete let go and I was like, let me see what my energies are. Those are the people and those are the instances and those are the situations that are going to come to me. My whole life, for every little thing I received, the food, like everything, I was just so grateful, deeply grateful. Thank you. I agree. I think it is. it was completely opposite than what I thought. I was so scared that you won't get food, I don't know what will happen. I was so scared to come, but um, I think it's one of the best experiences I've, I've ever had in my whole life. Like it is so unique and I was just like, we all just experienced abundance and abundance and abundance. I was like, this is beyond because everything that I was thinking of or like just not really like deeply wanting it with attachment but because of the experience of wanting and letting go more I think it just all got manifested like all of us also co-created so many things together like the tea the sugarcane juice even uh, I th the yeah the bus travel I think it started with with the hot sun on our on us and then the water. The water was like the highlight when me and mom too completely got drenched. So that was too good. And then like I wanted, I thought of Lay's and I just went and asked some shopkeeper. The first guy said no, the second guy said yes. So I got Lay's then. I really wanted to be on that, uh, on the bullock cart on top so initially and I was really like this was very crazy that I was noticing my energy that when I was asking for somebody something through ego or you know through achha, like taking it for granted ki haan wo de gai, that's when they said no and the moment I was like I came back to my humility and I was like, okay, people are going to say no. And I was really in that state of surrender. And I asked, it was just a yes. So easily the yes came in. So that was a very beautiful experience I had. Like the bullock cart guy had said no initially. And then we reached another place and the same bullock cart guy said yes. And he went out of his way to take us on a ride. And like, that was my dream come true. And then even the bus that came, like we were so exhausted and there was no, uh, there was no vehicle that was coming in at all. So we were so dead tired, but suddenly a bus came and we just asked the bus and the bus turned out, like the guy, he turned out to be like, I don't know what to say, like every experience was 
so much of abundance 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 like i realized through this how much we are all taken care of when we are in that like when there's no resistance how much we are genuinely taken care of by the universe and i also realized how easy it was for me to kind of ask people things so that's also a realization i learned about myself i really enjoyed myself uh, especially there are few moments where really touched my heart as uh, you know when i was waving to the kids and the way they used to respond back with such a beautiful smile so beautiful so innocent you know how beautifully they were smiling also uh, there was one more uh, one more thing you know uh, whoever were giving us ride and all you know just it was so naturally coming down and you know bowing down to the feet and all and it was so yani un log ke chehre pe itna joy tha na and the humbleness of theirs was too much you know, to see yes i ride i i enjoyed the ride with vedosi on the on the uh, sugar cane bullock cart Uh, it was really awesome it was like i was feeling like a child i i also broke my pattern of you know i had a conversation entertaining the conversation that i can't uh, lift a uh, heavy weights and my back used to give a uh, initially it just started and i was with the four mantra and smiling continuously and then suddenly i started enjoying myself and everything vanished and i really thoroughly enjoyed every moment every step of it atithi deva bhavo तो मुंबई में हम लोग इतना एक्सपीरियंस नहीं करते बट हियर आई एक्चुअली फेल्ट इट यू नो एंड वी वी वर द वन वी वी वर लुकिंग फॉर गॉडलीनेस इन अदर पीपल बट हियर आई फाउंड दैट अदर पीपल वर सीइंग दैट इन अस एंड दैट दैट रियली टच मी यू नो सो आई एम जस्ट हैप्पी टू बी हियर